Ready. Okay. So everything starts on our mobile app. Um, we control the whole system from this mobile app. We start a job. We've got a VIN, uh, some optical sensors here that scan the VIN code of the car. When we decode it, we know everything about the car. This is a big barcode to make it easy to scan. So we confirm it. We've got all of our information on the vehicle. And we're going to start the job. various sensors all throughout the cell. Uh, right now it's making sure that it has the right socket on the torque wrench so I can take the right, uh, those lug nuts off that wheel. Now it's taking various pictures of the wheel and tire, um, getting, gathering all that data to guide the, the robot to where it needs to go. There's a tire handling mechanism down at the bottom that holds the tire in the same spot so when we take all the lug nuts off, it doesn't fall off the car. Sockets are magnetic, so that lug nut's in that socket there. It's going to thread it onto that tray. Um, that tray is a demo tray. It's much shorter than the actual one we use in the, in the actual shops. The actual shops have many threads on there, so it can support all of the lug nut threads, lug nut sizes. Very cool. big orange part that's our torque wrench. Uh, it's very, very strong. Um, it can torque to any any of the OEM specifications. Um, we'll torque to that number 100% uh, of the time. It's a big advantage of Robo Tire is that this has a lot of data that this outputs on each job. All the images of the wheel and tire, the torque values that it set uh, these lug nuts to when it puts it back on. Um, it's a big benefit to the shops to have that data to confirm for the customer that we did in fact torque your lug nuts to the right spec. That is a problem in the industry. People have had cars fall off wheels. They have had stuff break because lug nuts were not properly torqued. This is this guarantees that it will be torqued every time. That, that tire no longer has lug nuts on it, so it's nothing is really holding it there except the, that mechanism below it, so it won't fall off the car right now. That's going to allow our robot to go in and grip the tire.
is a blow is releasing it. Now the robot has the tire. Notice over here to your left, there's another machine. That machine is manufactured by Hunter Engineering. We have an integration with them uh, from the software side. So that machine is communicating with our robots to know when to do the right steps to demount the tire. That machine there demounts and mounts the rubber from the rim. We're not going to do that today. That's a long process. It's kind of boring. So we're just going to show that it goes to that machine. We also integrate with the Hunter Balancer. When you change the, if you don't know much about the tire changing process, one thing you have to do after you put new rubber on tires is to balance the wheel. It means spinning it around, finding where it needs weights. It will do that as well, and it will put it back on the car. So our tire mechanism is holding the wheel again. Taking pictures now. All of those pictures are available uh, to the shop so they can act, they can give those pictures to the customer, they can do whatever they'd like. So image before the tire, we, we touch the car and then after, just to make sure we haven't damaged anything and to show everybody that hey look, that it is in fact new rubber on your tires. Or on your wheels. lug nuts back on. I mentioned it before. Um, it works them to the exact manufacturer specifications, which is something that most people don't do out in the, the, uh, the shops today. They just don't have a way of knowing exactly how tight their torque gun is going. This one knows precisely how um, much it's torquing. So if this car requires 70 foot-pounds, we tell the robot to do that, and it will do that exactly every time. Our rear tire is just going to do the same thing on the front. Uh, you're really welcome to keep watching, or if you feel like you've got enough, you could.